హలో స్టూడెంట్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు శ్రీ చైతన్య గోశాల యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ సో ద మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ పాయింట్ టుడే దట్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు టాక్ ఈస్ డూస్ అండ్ డూ నాట్స్ జస్ట్ బిఫోర్ ది ఎగ్జామినేషన్ ఆర్ ఇన్ ద లాస్ట్ ఫేజ్ ఆఫ్ యువర్ నీట్ ప్రిపరేషన్ అండ్ రిమెంబర్ దీస్ ఆర్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ అండ్ ఐ వాంట్ ఎవ్రీబడీ టు ఫాలో దీస్ ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్స్ బికాస్ దీస్ ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్స్ విల్ డెఫినెట్లీ మేక్ ఎ డిఫరెన్స్ ఇన్ యువర్ పర్ఫార్మెన్స్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ ఎలివేట్ యువర్ స్కోర్స్ so let us start the video so the most important thing that in general you know most of the students do in today's life too many predictions you know you start interpreting will i get a seat will i be able to crack the examination or you know will i be able to score this much see first thing that you always have to think is all these kind of thoughts will elevate your adrenaline rush and somewhere this will cause lot of anxiety and which will impact your preparation so at this point of time rather than thinking of all these things the most important thing that you have to think is just focus on your preparation make short targets for day and try to fulfill those targets and when you have short targets for the day what happens is your brain always starts thinking about these targets of the day whether you completed not completed why you did not complete and how much you have to complete and what should be taken for the next day what should be the targets of the next day when you are occupied then unwanted thinking and unnecessary thoughts will definitely be away from your brain and which will definitely give a very positive impact on your preparation and the next point that we are going to discuss is very important health see most of the people generally what they do is most of the students when the last phase of the preparation comes they give more importance to preparation i agree you have to give more importance but they neglect health but remember guys health is equally very important for an aspirant because there is a very great saying you know where there is a very great saying everything looks very good when you are not sick but once you fall sick then you think that everything else is not important but your health is important so the same thing applies here also when everything is going well when you are you know doing long night sittings and studying you know until your health isn't uh, you know impacting it is fine but once you know if it gets impacted then you start thinking i shouldn't have done that so avoid this have good amount of sleep at least 7 hours per day is very important you know sleep for a student at this point of time to calm down your brain and to calm down your complete you know homogeneity and make you to stay in homeostasis so hence i tell every students to follow this 7 hours of sleep at least if not please go for 6 to 6 and 1/2 hour of sleep which will be very very helpful during your preparation because health is an important you know a factor of your preparation and avoid junk food which is not good because at this point of time the packeted foods contain ammonia or they contain vinegar which is not good they generally you know they inhibit a lot of sleep and which is not good at this point of time so please avoid them as well and have more number of fluids have more amount of you know seasonal fruits which will give a very positive impact in your preparation as well as health as i said health is a very important factor and the next very important thing is just before the examination whenever you sit for an examination always ever 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 you know most of the kids what they do is they always sit in front of the examination they start thinking that today i have to crack these many marks the moment you have that predetermined mindset just before the examination it it brings some amount of stress in your brain if the paper is not you know uh, favorable just like your thoughts probably you know if it is tough it is tough for everybody in india you forget that at that point of time because you are an independent one you think that you imagine that it is only tough for you so do not predict any kind of scores just before the examination yeah once the you know whenever you are writing a grand test or a part test or a cumulative test or a module test always think that for the next test my target is this and then that target should be split into short targets and start preparing for it and with this way what happens is during the examination whatever stress you are taking can be you know divided into parts and this will definitely reduce your stress during the examination and your performance will be very good during the examination and the most important thing most of the students they do not understand how to revise at this point of time so i tell you the effective mode of preparation also see for example biology if you take biology there are certain chapters where you have repeated revisions like you know repeated revisions you can't do it opening ncert and reading lines every day it is not possible 
So you might have already prepared your short notes, go with the short notes preparation. For example, if you have plant kingdom, animal kingdom, your living world, you have your plant anatomy, morphology, taxonomy uh, and animal tissues uh, or plant tissues. When you, know, when you have these all chapters, what you generally have to do is all these chapters contain a lot of you know uh, examples and these things should be repeatedly revised at least you know take a friend of yours during lunch break or you know your snacks break or any time you take off and you talk to some friends make sure you do not talk anything else other than these things and sit and have a discussion of examples when you exchange start exchanging when you repeatedly talk you know start doing it retains your brain and it will definitely help you one way to remember thing and second thing is as you are doing it in fast forward way what happens is your you know brain will start responding very fast whenever such kind of questions come in the examination so do not forget to repeat you know the preparations and do not forget to repeat the discussions with your friends in the short spans uh, for these topics as well as when you go to inorganic chemistry the same thing you have to apply for inorganic chemistry and organic chemistry for reagents as well as you know for catalysts as well as the, the named reactions you have to do these things and which will definitely help you to remember them and will also carry good amount of marks during your examination other things you know rest of the chapters of biology or physical chemistry or you know uh, your sub certain parts of your organic chemistry and as well as your physics for this i specifically tell you you require more number of pra question practice the more number of questions you practice generally what happens is your brain starts you know getting adjusted to such kind of adaptations to acquire uh, different applications of questions and which will also enhance your thinking abilities and uh, you know application abilities so do not forget to follow these things and you be calm whenever you are anxious or nervous go talk to your mentors and take their suggestions calm yourself down and most importantly get connected to your parents be very transparent to them talk to them explain them your conditions explain them and i also suggest parents at this point of time do not you know put any kind of pressure on the kids regarding the marks sometimes they you know do get less marks sometimes they good get good marks but instead you please support them you ask them instead of that you know instead of scolding them you have to support them morally you have to support them emotionally so that this will give a very good impact for their preparation so i wish everybody who is preparing for neat 2025 all the very best from Sri Chaitanya Goshala.